Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on inequalities. For this video, you can see that I have two terms, binomials, on each side of each of my inequality equations. Okay, so I am going to do these. The first one, I'm going to move everything my variable to the left and my constant to the right. So I'm going to subtract 14x from both sides. And I'm going to use an arrow to remind myself that what I'm bringing down is that less than or equal to sign. Sometimes students don't want to do this. I want to do a different notations approach, and that's fine. As long as you're practicing the same methodology every time and mastering it, different approaches are always okay in math don't lose your inequality sign. So I have negative 7x minus 9 is less than or equal to negative 21. I am going to add this 9 over. I'm going to get negative 7x is less than or equal to negative 12. When I divide both sides by negative 7, because I'm dividing by 7, this inequality sign has to flip over so that I have x is greater than or equal to 12 over 7. That's the one thing you really need to remember is when you multiply or divide by a negative, that inequality sign has to flip. All right, so it says solve the inequality. I did that. Graph your answer, then write the answer in interval notation. Even if the graph, the answer was at the end, I would graph before doing anything else. I think it helps for the interval notation. I usually put a negative infinity and positive infinity. I also think that helps. Sometimes students get that backwards if you just don't do that simple act or at least put the negative in. I'm only going to put 12 sevenths. I'm not going to put a zero. You can. I think you know if it's positive zeros to the left, but I usually just put the one. Because x is on the open side, that means it's bigger, which means it's going towards the bigger side. Now, if there is a equal sign, that means you are using brackets. That means it's a filled in hole. That's what we traditionally use. Filled in holes mean I am going to use a bracket. It means that this x can touch that number. It can equal that number. If it doesn't have an equal sign, that means it's parentheses. It can't. It's reaching for it, but not touching. We have this a lot in our life. Like if you have um, a, you go to a restaurant and they say, kids under 12 can eat free today. Well, if you're over 12, you're reaching for that. Like you're 18, you're reaching for that sale, but you can't get it because you are over the age of 12. Anyways, this is true at 12 sevenths, we can touch that, to infinity. You can never touch infinity. It's a concept, not a number. And since you can never equal infinity, infinity always goes with a parenthesis. Okay, for this one, um, I am going to do it two ways because I have students who approach this two ways. The first is I'm just gonna multiply through by six. When you multiply through by six, you get five y plus 48 is greater than, when you multiply this by six, um, three goes into six twice, two times two is four. Um, and to me, this, <laughs> this now looks really easy. Uh, easy is maybe not the right word, but there's a five y and a four y, and when I subtract four y from both sides, I'm gonna get a y. So yeah, negative 42 and negative 48 may not be the simplest of things to do, but I don't have to divide, which, you know, that's lovely. Um, the other way to do this, 5 sixths y plus 8 is greater than 2 thirds y minus 7. I know a lot of students, because I have students who do this all the time, um, they just want to subtract 2 thirds y. If you have a calculator, you're like, why can't I just brute forth this, get one 
sixth y plus eight is greater than negative seven. Subtract that eight over, <clears throat> get one sixth y is greater than negative 15. Multiply both sides by six to get y is negative greater than negative 90. Why can't I just do that? And the answer is, I don't know, why not? Do what you want. You do you. Make sure you know your methodology and master it. This is harder to do without a calculator. To me, I mean, I like, well, I don't mind fractions. I could probably do this in mental math. Two times two is four, five minus four is one. Um, but clearing fractions is so quick and then you don't have to deal with fractions. And conceptually, this is a simpler problem. It looks a lot like this one. So I am a huge advocate for clearing fractions because students, don't love fractions. Fractions are a big reason students struggle in math. So if you can just multiply by six, clear your fractions, and get your answer, I don't see any reason why not to. All right, again, I'm only going to put in that negative 90. I am going to put in the negative infinity and positive infinity. Y is greater. There is no equal sign. So this is equivalent of the open hole, or like I said, a parenthesis. So we are going from negative 90 to positive infinity. Notice this time I didn't, this time I will. With positive, you have the option of putting the plus. With the negative, you have to put the negative. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, like my page, and I'll see you on the next video.